Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So this time we're going to read Surah Al-Masad Suratul Masad So let's start A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Tabbat yada abi lahabi wa tab Ma agna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab Sayasula naran dhata lahab Wamraatuhu hammalata alhatab في جديها حبل من مسد. So let's see how we're going to read this and how we're going to apply the Tajweed rules in this Surah Al Masad. So here, tabat. So ta. This one is letter ta. Then followed with ba with shadda, meaning the ba here is double. So tabat yada yada. So, after the dal fata, there is a lip mud here, meaning we're going to observe uh, four. The rule here is four to five counts, but uh, we will do four counts only. So, this is the Tajweed rules here. So, next, remember that uh, whenever there is an alip mud here and followed by hamza, we're going to observe four to five counts. That is the Tajweed rules. Then, A, B, then the B, the B, Kasra here, is followed with a Ya. So, meaning we have to observe two counts here. There, this is a, what we call Mad Tabi'i, or normal Mad. So, next is Laha. Laha, B. So, Laha, Ha, this one. Ha, Fatha. Laha. So this one, this is the same with this ha, the ha which is near to our chest. So the same laha, laha b. So this one is a kasratin. Supposedly we're going to read this laha bin. Okay, but we're not going to read like that. The tajweed rules we have to apply whenever there is a noon second or the kasratin like this. So, we have to continue the reading to the next letter that followed the Bakasratin, which is letter Wow, Wow Fata. So, how we're going to read this? Lahabiu, Lahabiu. You see, instead of reading Lahabin, no, it's not like that, but Lahabiu. So, the noon here is uh, drop. We will not uh, read the noon here, the noon second, but instead we will connect the bakasra to wow lahabiwatab. So the sound that we are going to hear is the the wow sound lahabiwatab. So tab here uh, it will become a kalkala letter. Remember the Kalkala letter? Ba, letter Ba is one from uh, Kalkala letter. If we will end it with a uh, Sukun. So, Tabat yada abilahabi watab. So, here you just uh, keep on practicing until you will get, you will learn how to recite it correctly. So, this is the rule here. So here, lahabiu wata, but there will be a gunna here. All we can hear is the gunna lahabiu. The gunna is here. We're not going to make a gunna from the noon here. Lahabin no, lahabiu wata. Then next ayah, ma agana, ma agana, ma here. The same rules with this one. The alip mad here, followed by Hamza. We are going to observe four to five counts. But uh, we will just do four counts. One, two, three, four.
we we're not going to do like here we're going to do five and then here four no if uh, we choose four then we'll stick to what we choose the first which is four so we'll do the same so ma ag this one again sukun ag remember the rain it's a throat letter ag ma ag na then noon fata there is a tabi ay mad here normal mad there is a lip sagira here so meaning we need to observe two counts here ma ag na an a this one ain an hu an hu so the noon second followed by throat letter an hu so meaning and the noon we have to read it clear an hu so this ha is the same with this ha okay this is in the middle how to write the ha in the middle so this letter keep on changing how it look like so we have to familiarize ourselves so this one is also ha this one also is a ha the same but this is uh, how to write at the end of the letter of the word and this is also ha see ha ha so anhu ma luhu ma so ma fata followed by this alif, the normal mud here, so two counts. Ma lu hu, so you can see here from the hu, there is a small wow here. So meaning, we have to observe two counts as well. Of course, there is a, there is a name for this uh, mud, but uh, we are not going to mention the name. We will just concentrate on how to read it, or to observe elongation, or how to prolong it. We will familiarize first ourselves with the signs. So, let's proceed. Ma agana anhu ma luhu wa ma. So, wa ma. Remember, same this one. There is two counts also here. Wa ma kasab. Kasab. So, kaf here is light. Kasab, so ba, it will become sukun, so kalkala letter, bouncing letter, like kasab, kasab, see, bouncing, kasab, you touch and then go back, kasab, so that is how to do bouncing letter, call sounds, so next ayah, sayasula, sayasula, this sod with the sukun, yeah, sayas so sod sayas sayas la. Remember the sad is a heavy letter, so la lamfata. Then this one is a ya. Sayas la. Then there is a alif sagira here. Alif was small alif, so meaning we have to observe two counts here. Sayas la naran. Naran so noon fata there is two counts after salif so then rafatatain and two counts naran so observe two counts one two the talahab the the this is uh, the tip of our tongue is a little bit out the then two counts there is a leaf madabia the ta Lahab, lahab, lahab. So ba here will become sukun. So kalkala letter. So we'll do lahab, bouncing letter again. Lahab. Sayasula naran dhata lahab. The next ayah. Wamraatuhu wa. So from wafata. We'll continue to mim sakin. So there is a hamsatul wasil here. We're not going to read this. We'll just ignore. But instead, we'll continue from wow to mim. Sukun. Wamra. Wamra atuhu. So it's quick. Wamra atuhu. For atuhu, there is a small wow. So two counts. 
وامرأته هم ح هم ما so ح here has an air ح then with the mim shadda and fatta double mim هم ما then after that there is a two counts here to observe the the normal mad here alif two counts هم ما لتل this is ta marbuta okay so we have to familiarize with ourselves. We should not have mistaken this as ha. Because see the ha. This is the ha. But this is ta marbuta. Hamma latal. Latal. So again, there is a hamsatul wazil here. But we're not going to read again. We'll ignore or we'll skip. So latal continue to lam saken. Hamma latal hatob. Hatob ta. Ta. This is ta heavy ta. Hatob. Then, ba here will become sukun bouncing letter. Bouncing. Hatob. Hatob. So, practice here. Hamma latal hatob. Then, next ayah. Fi ji diha. Hablum mim masad. So, fi kasra. There is a ya here. So, meaning this is a normal mad. Called mad ya. So, normal two counts. Then, g di kasra followed by ya. So, meaning two counts also. Then, dal. This is dal. Fi ji di ha. This is ha. Uh, then with a, a lip mud here, normal mud, so mud, then two counts. Fiji diha, this one, hablum ha, this is uh, followed, with, followed with ba, it has a sukun, so meaning this is a, this is a, we will observe kalkala here, bouncing sound, habl, hab. Hablum, hablum, mim, masad, hab, bouncy. Okay, then hablum. Now here is a dammatain. The lamb has a dammatain. And followed by mim. So we are not going to read this. Hablun, no. Hablun, it's not the way how to read this one. There is a tajweed rules here. Instead of reciting hablun, the nun saken here is... We will uh, drop, but uh, we will continue reading to the next letter, which is Mim. The Mim here has a Shadda. So instead of reciting Hablun, the Nun, no. We will uh, drop the Nun, but we will read the Mim. Hablum, Hablum, then there is a nasal sound. Hablum, nun, the nasal sound is in the nose, from the nose. Hablum, see, hmm. so this is the sound of runa, nasal sound. So, hablum, you do a nasal sound. Hablum, mim, then again, the here, instead of, uh, there is a mi, nun saken, mi, instead of reciting min, masad, no, it's not the way how to read, but from mim, kasra, we'll continue reading to mim, shadda. So the noon, we're going to skip, and we will read mim. Then again, there is a nasal sound mim. Runa mim masad mim masad. So the dal here it will become a sukun, and it's a kalkala letter. So we'll do the echo sound masad masad. It's like tapping masad. Then go back masad. See the direction of my, my finger. Masad. Masad. Then go back. Masad. Then go back. So that is how to do. So Alhamdulillah we're done. Just uh, keep on practicing on how to read this. So you have to practice until you read it uh, correctly. Because as we all know, practice will make you perfect. 
or even if you cannot perfect it at least you will know how to read it uh, correctly observing the the mud giving the due rights of every letter observe if it is a letter or if it has a normal mud there is a two counts you have, you have to observe you have to familiarize if it is a heavy letter so be careful in reading when there is no mud don't uh, prolong familiarize yourself with the touch read rules and the way how the letter is being pronounced or being read so i would like to thank you all for watching keep on practicing may allah make it easy for all of us practice uh, read as much as you can until you will get the correct way on how to read it so jazakumallahu khairan for watching till next time assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh fi amanillah